Hey everyone, how are you today? Welcome to Thursday, day 77. Holy man, I can't believe I'm getting closer to 80 days. Almost three months in another, what, 13 days? Anyway, you guys, I had, I learned something new today about myself, about where we live, and things that have been going on with us, as well as um, about my new horse. Um, I went to see, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to go, oh, you're crazy. Oh. I went to see my friend, my psychic friend, Emery. She is amazing. Now, a lot of the stuff that Randy and I have been feeling, she picked up on and I never had to say anything. So um, I have to do some more clearing of the place. I have to do a bunch of other stuff. And um, yeah, so it'll all get done. It'll get done. But um, and she told me, she said the number three is around me a lot, which I can tell you guys in the last month, I have probably seen an, every time I look at a clock or every time I look at something, it says it has a three on it. I don't know how many times I've woken up in the middle of the night, it says 333 or 303. And as I'm sitting here right now doing this live, there's three people on here watching me as I speak. Three. Three is not a bad number. And I said, well, I do. I will have three horses. I actually own three horses. And she said, no, it's something else. But she told me that... Smoothie, my new horse, was waiting for me to come and get her. That she was meant for me. And that's why all the other people or the other horses that I tried weren't right for me. Because she she was waiting for me to come. And um, the other people didn't um, take her because they weren't for her. We just have that bond. And that was so true because when I went there and tried her, we had a kind of a funny bit of a little bond like it was it was kind of strange because she cuddled with me right away so anyway as um so that was a good thing i am so happy about that and she said she wants to work for me so we'll see we'll see how it goes i hope she's right and emory has never been wrong by the way you guys she's never been wrong um so what am i doing right now i'm sitting in my truck Yes, I'm just sitting here. I'm not driving. I'm not driving. I'm parked. Um, I am actually sitting at the Irvin School. Um, yeah, somebody might think I look like a stalker or something, but I'm not. I'm actually going into the school in about 10 minutes, and I'm going to teach the equine class how to braid mule tape halters. Right? Teach the young kids how to make, make their own halters. Why not? You know what? It's fun. They can be creative. And it just gives them something else to do. You know, like kids need to stay active. And I think doing stuff like this, being, um, you know, um, very um, creative is, is a great thing. To be creative is really, really good. So... Um, yeah, so I'm just waiting till about 22 or quarter two, then my friend Linda is going to come out and grab me because I've got a couple boxes to bring in um, of mule tape and instructions and other stuff that I need to actually do that. So yeah, it's going to be a great afternoon and it's beautiful out you guys. I'm sitting here right now and it says it's 16 degrees out here. 16. When I was in town, um, sitting in town there the, uh, about half an hour ago, 45 minutes ago, it was 13. And there's a bit of wind here. There was none in town. But it is so beautiful. Look at this, you guys. Look. Look at the clear blue sky. It's like, damn, it's so nice. It's like clear blue. Um, it feels like spring. It feels like spring. I know in three days, um, the first day of spring will be here. So, you know, like, let's let's really enjoy this spring. My arm's getting tired from holding it. I got to move it around. So, um, yeah, anyway, so I'm just going to sit here and wait for a few minutes. And I'm really hot. I'm heated up a bit because I wore 
a jacket and a sweater. And yeah. And this is my mask, you guys. You want to see? I said, you know what? A year ago, if people would have worn something like this into a store, they would have went, oh my God, we're being robbed. But this is what I do. Oh, that's it. Do I look like I'm going to rob somebody? Kind of reminds you of the old days, eh? When everybody wore, when they wore the bandanas over their faces to rob, to rob the trains or the banks or whatever. Yeah, it's just kind of weird because you walk into a store like that now and then nobody blinks an eye. So, you know, that's, in a way, that's not very good. But what are you going to do about it, right? So, anyway, I have had probably one of the best days I've had in a long, long time. Other than Tuesday when I, when I bought my mare. But I, um, I'm going up on Sunday to pick her up. So, if anybody wants to go for a road trip with me because Randy I don't think is going to come with me this time he just doesn't want to go um I I did ask one other or a couple other people but they're not sure and I need a for sure because I really don't want to take that big trip all by myself so it's going to be like a I don't know a 12 hour trip around by the time I get up there talk to them for a bit get the paperwork all done signed over to me um like the transfer paper done and then get on the road again, it could be 12 hours. So I'm leaving at 7 a.m. on Sunday morning. Yeah, that's early, but I need to be there that early. So if you guys, um, if anybody, any one of my friends wants to come with me for a road trip, see me, see me, um, that would be so awesome because it's, it's gonna be a pretty boring drive all by myself, so. Anyway, I'm just putting that out there, putting it out into the universe. And if you guys didn't see, I posted about some specials that only I am doing. It's not the company doing them. I'm doing them personally just to help and to bring, you know, more awareness to what we have. And if you guys uh, want anything, comment, message me, get a hold of me. These, you know what, it's spring. Let's try getting healthy before summer comes and then we can do some stuff. Yeah. But anyway, you guys have a great afternoon. Take care, smile so the world will smile with you because they do. When they see someone smile, they smile right back at you. So a smile and the world will smile with you. Be grateful for something today. I'm grateful that I'm able to teach some young, young girls and boys how to, how to do something creative by creating halters. I'm grateful to be allowed and um, privileged enough to do that. So you guys have a fantastic Thursday afternoon. Enjoy this weather if it's nice where you are. Um, and take care. Ciao for now, everyone. Bye.